right, so on the peak of the hype for Dragon Ball Fighters, <laughs> one season pass announcement ruins all of it. So you probably heard a couple days ago, N Namco Bandai announced a Fighters Pass for Dragon Ball Fighters. It's gonna have eight characters. We have no idea who the eight characters are gonna be. Shout out to Capcom for starting that. But we don't know what the heck we're gonna get. They listed they listed the pass being thirty-five dollars as a feature. <laughs> oh, that that pissed a lot of people off, but if you look on Twitter, uh, n pretty much 95% of the people that replied to that tweet are not happy about the announcement. Oh yeah, if, if you pre-order the Collector's Edition, you don't get the Season Pass. People are trying to defend that too by saying, you get the statue. The statue itself is probably worth $80, so you shouldn't get the Season Pass. But the people who pre-ordered the, the uh, Collector's Edition aren't having it. They're... They're canceling their pre-orders in droves, so this isn't looking good. Me personally, I expected there to be a season pass just because of Xenoverse one and two. I expected they just screwed over people who bought the season pass in Xenoverse two by not giving them uh, the fifth expansion pack. Oh, that that kind of sucks. I can kind of see why they did this because they only had three months. They only have three months left to make the game because it's coming out January 26th. And when we saw when we saw Tien and Yamcha, they weren't finished yet. I'm pretty sure. So I'm pretty sure Ginyu and Nappa are like nowhere near finished, and they need more time. And plus, you know, to keep updating the game, it costs money. So I'm, they need to make that back. Like I'm not defending. I hate I hate season passes as much as the next guy but you know people trying to compare it to like Capcom and stuff like it, it, it I feel like it, it doesn't really work in this situation if you know the details but uh, sorry man but I haven't let you say anything go ahead and speak your mind uh I mean with a seat I mean with a season pass it's kind of expected at least not not just for the fact that they weren't in development but just for the fact that I've been following Xenoverse and stuff, and I know about the season passes and stuff in that, and that, uh, yeah, and that, a, uh, it was only a matter game. of time. I feel like the timing was bad, though. I feel like they should have waited until the game came out to announce the season pass, because you know, when people wait before a game comes out to announce a season pass, people get really mad. Mm hmm. And, and just like, because they feel like also, the content's being cut from the game. Also, the game is. Also, the game was lacking characters anyway, so that's a quick way to get those. That's a quick way to kind of just, I, I guess, let just just like tell the audience that you know we're gonna have more characters, but I don't think that's the right way to do it. Yeah, so but like all, also, also, oh my bad. I was gonna say I from what I counted, there's 18 characters, and two of them are a pre-order bonus. People, that's people extremely are, low. That people are also afraid that uh, two of the characters out of the eight in the season pass are just going to be Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Vegeta, which are the pre-order bonus. That that wouldn't be very good. No, it wouldn't. But, uh, what were you saying before I cut you off? I'm sorry. I was going to say one that character roster is extremely low for a tag fighting game, and also, also like. If you follow Bandai Namco, you'll know that they drop season passes for the games. They've done it for Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm plenty of times. Yeah. And they've also done it for Xenoverse. But, you know, for people that really don't follow those games, they would they would have never expected it, I guess. But it's it it was it was expected, especially since the release date is extremely close. The release, the game is coming out in about three months, so Yeah. You know. For me, like, if, if they're gonna do this crap, I need to see Hit and I need to see the Dragon Ball Super version of Android 17. Like, I don't, I don't care about who else they're gonna add, but gotta at least have Hit. Cause he's probably like my favorite character in, in uh, Super. So I'd like, I'd like to see him in the game. But, oh yeah, people are also afraid. Cause you know, people who, have a history of playing Dragon Ball games and all that 
Banda is infamous for adding clones. Like they even do it in Xenoverse. Like it's pretty. It's pretty bad in Xenoverse. Do you, do you think they'll add clones? Because they've already announced Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta. Probably. What what clones do you think they would add? Um, what clones do I think they would add? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know much about uh, Goku Black, but they could just throw in Goku Black in there. Well, well, he's not a clone, because like yeah, that's he. What I like, oh, okay. Yeah, I, like I said, I don't know. I don't know much about him, but. Yeah, he's got like his complete. He's got his uh, own set of abilities, and he has Super Saiyan Rose, but that's the only. He has a Super Saiyan form, but that's the only similarity really that he shares with Goku. Uh, probably, probably like. I feel like they'll probably, they'll probably they're they'll probably put Broly in there. Um, in terms of like any other clones, I'm not I'm not really too I'm not really too sure about it. But I'm pretty sure they'll add throw some clones in there. Uh, I kind of want Majin Vegeta though, but I don't think they're gonna add in Majin Vegeta, so it's That's, whatever. They're probably not because we already have two Vegetas. Who cares? And freaking Naruto, you got like six Sasuke's. They it's better not add like Mecha Freezer. <laughs> They're putting cooler. Like with a low roster like this, I don't want to see any more clones. Either that or they're just like intentionally withholding characters to make a second game. That would suck. Yeah, hit, hit in a Super Version of 17 are all I really care about. They can add whoever else they want. But people are thinking we will be able to buy the characters individually. Like since it's an Arxis game, I think I think they would let them, but you know, with Bandai, you think you think they'll be like, no, they have to buy the whole pass or they don't get any of the characters. They better um, they better make you they better allow you to buy characters individually. Yeah, oh it sucks. Even though like since I wanna play the game at a high level I would have to buy the whole season pass anyway because i gotta learn the matchups oh, but that's gonna suck for fighting game players i know right <laughs> oh. but yeah that's, that's all the news that we got on uh dragon ball fighters all right how do you how do you feel about the season pass let us know because i think it's pretty stupid it's like, I don't know, I guess I don't mind it that much given that they don't have enough, they didn't have enough time really to finish the game. And they should just, yeah, they should just push delay the game it. back. Yeah, they should. But nope. Because yeah, they probably have to make their money back anyway from the, from the extra time they'd have to spend adding the characters because of development costs and all that. But, so I, f I feel like regardless we'd get this season pass anyway, but... You know the case probably a ton of money spent on marketing and with how good that game looks i wonder how much they, they paid to make it look like that so yeah they're probably going to be like all right we'll give them the season pass and we'll get our money back or whatever or at least there's no like loot boxes imagine there being loot boxes there'll probably be loot boxes in xenoverse 3. that would be disgusting Oh my god, but yeah, that's it. Uh, if you like this, like, sub, and all that good stuff.